Hello everybody. I wanted to show you guys. Hello everybody. I wanted to show you guys how this is hooked up, hooked up, and maybe you can help me explain what's going on here. <clears throat> First of all, I wanted to show you how this is hooked up. I have the positive lead going into my relay, and then the other positive line going down to my amp meter. Of course if I hook up the yellow positive lead going to my coil it will work just the same. I just have to uh, show you guys how many amps this is using. It's very interesting. So I have my read switch set on the negative as you can see there on the black. Okay, the other one's going to the relay, and then of course a negative lead going straight to the coil. And on the back of the coil, I have this black lead going to part of the AC on the bridge rectifier, and the other part, the green one, going to the other side. The positive red lead coming off the bridge rectifier, and follow it around with me, is going to go to the um, electrolyzer here. I only have one clamshell hooked up. Of course, in my last videos I only had one, but I built another one on the other side. All right, but that is disconnected. So the only thing hooked to the electrolyzer is the green lead off the negative from the bridge. You can see that. Do, 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 do. Truck along here. And going to here. The other end. Positive is going from here. All the way to the positive end of the bridge rectifier and you can see that positive okay all right I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna show you without the hookup I'm gonna disconnect this off the electrolyzer and crank this sucker up show you how many amps it's pulling Oops. I have the timing set so it spins better this way, more efficiently. Oops. Once again, let's try it out. Go! Damn it. So you have the timing set, it wants to start the other way, but it runs better going that way. Okay, so that's hooked up. And then get hauling butt pretty good. Now, it's drawing. The faster it goes, the less amps it uses. And you can see that. Whoa, something fell off. Something fell off. Sounds to me like a positive lead fell off. Hold on. Do that or my relay finally took a crap. Okay, I'm gonna stop this a minute. Okay. Uh that down there fell off to the amp meter. And the faster it spins. The less amps it's using, it's going really fast now. You see? And it's bounced around between 0.279 and 0.281. Now I'm going to hook up the electrolyzer to the bridge rectifier. You 
can hear it slow down. And it's producing gas. Not much. It's about one and a half amps. I probably have the bridge rectifier hooked up wrong, and that's what I need help with, but I wanted to show you guys this anyway. Um, not producing a lot of gas, but it is producing some. You can see the bubble. And it's producing some. Thought about an amp and a half. Now what I'm going to do is see how many amps the electrolyzer is pulling. So I'm going to shut this off and let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is just running through. This with the bridge rectifier. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to show you guys how many volts this is pulling. So if I connected the positive lead back to each other. <clears throat> I'm going to... Without the electrolyzer connected, it is 12.65, very steady, and... You can see this is moving very, very fast again. And no drop in voltage. Because it's only using like 200 milliamps. As I showed you before, without the electrolyzer connected. Everybody got it? Alright, now I'm going to hook up the amp gauge while the electrolyzer is on, going into the electrolyzer. Actually, first, I'm going to show you the voltage reading when I hook up the electrolyzer off the bridge rectifier. You see, it's making gas again. Nope, nope, okay. That's going. Now I'm going to see how many volts I have on the battery. down to a steady 12 and a half volts. You can hear the motor is slowed down just a tiny bit. Now we're going to find out how many amps is going from the bridge rectifier into the electrolyzer. Stand by. Okay, we're back on again. Now I have the amp meter put in between. The positive end from the bridge rectifier to the amp meter back to the electrolyzer, as you can see here. Okay. Everybody see that? And Things are starting to go pretty good here. Not a whole lot of gas, but it's producing some gas. And the electrolyzer is only burning about a little less than an amp and a half. So, I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I'm obviously producing a lot of work here. This is drawing an amp and a half, over a little bit over an amp and a half, with, with the electrolyzer attached. And I probably have my bridge rectifier hooked up screwy, I don't know. Somebody 